testing? It says live. Hi! <laughs> um, so I guess Bria's gonna be jumping in here soon. Uh, you guys, look, we're doing a... Um, we're, we're live right now. Are there people watching? There are, it's growing. Um, we are live in Clinton, Mississippi and doing a meetup and I did not expect so many people to show up. It's really amazing. And it's turned into like an activist brainstorming thing. And it's uh, really awesome. So I'm glad you all can join us. So glad all of you are here. You lovely people. Oh, I've got some supportive parents. And my parents were just here. My dear childhood friend, Anna. So sweet. Hi, Scott. Um, so. I just want to be awkward for a second. <laughs> um, so what we're, we're talking about what it's like, I guess, to be LGBT in Mississippi and trying to figure out how to get a GSA started at the high school that I went to because it's illegal that they're trying to discriminate. Um, so Clinton High School, you're not doing right. And we are going to, how do I say this correctly, come after you. And and those kids are going to go to prom with their girlfriends or boyfriends, and you cannot fight that. So whoever from Clinton is not watching right now, hopefully you see this. Um, what do y'all feel? How do y'all feel like it is? Have y'all faced discrimination outside of school for being gay or for being LGBT? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that was a great response. I imagine you don't face a lot of discrimination because of how cool your parents are. <laughs> Um, so, what, what have y'all, what have y'all experienced? Uh, do you want to know? Maybe, ooh, okay. I guess, I, not really the discrimination, but like, I went to my uh, friend's church one time. I don't know, I don't even remember what kind of like, was that. Never really seen like, preach hate until I went there. And it was, oh my, they had like a whole session about being gay tomorrow. And it was horrible. Like I, I'm like scared to scared to go back to church because of that. Mm. It freaked me out so bad. It, yeah, in the south especially, it's mo speak up. it's mostly um religious hate. It's, yeah, it's yeah religious discrimination. For they the justify part. it. And yeah, that's the only way I've seen it justified. And last year I actually I had a friend and me and her would sit in my car every day um, before school. And there was this girl, I mean, I didn't even know this girl, but she started a rumor that me and this girl, who is completely platonic, she was my friend, she was dating a guy, that we would go to my school and sit in my car and, like, we would just, like, they said horrible things about what we were doing, like, in the car and stuff, and that she tried to spread it around the whole school and have people who were like, wow, I can't believe you'd expect anyone who'd want to be your friend because of that, and it just turned into this horrible thing and it's because she said well god knows what you're doing isn't right even though i didn't even do any of those things she just said that because she knew i was gay mm. yeah when i um sort of came out i had a friend that came out a little while after but hers is more of like she gets i don't want to be rude about to say like she gets around but, you know. and so they automatically were like oh the only reason you're doing it's because you want to like be like her and so I had like a lot of people who were rude to me when I first came out of high school. Because they thought I was automatically just going to be like her. Like I was just looking for more attention. That's crazy. Um, hello. I experienced the person that I grew up keeping my horses at their property, still to this day, who was like family to me my whole life. Suddenly after I went public with my relationship with Bria. This was before we even had our YouTube channel. Went back and went to the barn and when she was talking to my mom and then talking to a cousin and talking to me and would not even look at me because I was like, I was so diseased or whatever. And there were other people who were like, this is just a phase, right? Like you're gonna come up with a boyfriend and you're gonna outgrow this. And I was like, you know what? You people don't matter and you really don't have anything to contribute to the world. So I'm gonna not care about what you're saying. And it still hurt really bad because it was like, you're judging me because of this and you, you've known me my whole life. You know what I stand for. 
but still have a long way to go. There are there are really great great people though. If you're in a conservative place, look at this. Look at all this open mindedness here, fighting for our rights and fighting to be able to live and be ourselves. Support. If you feel like you're alone, there is support. Oh, I think Bria's in here. Hi from Chicago. Uh The phase card. Everyone's experienced the phase card. Mm. I've had one of my best friends, uh, boyfriend, like, really close. And he lives in a family of like, seven people. And, like, she told him everyone's like, and now, one of the nights, looked at me, and he's like, And it's a guy? Yeah. And she'd be like, don't worry, I'm not interested. <laughs> I don't want to get you. Just catch him off guard and be like, it's not contagious. Yeah. <laughs> and be like, and if it was, I wouldn't, like, I wouldn't want to come after you. <laughs> Last year, he looked like mine. We were going to a group and he was like, I was taking pictures with. Uh-huh. And he was like, if he's not a DT, I don't want to talk to him. What does like, that mean? I'm not up on lingo. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> That's crazy! And so he, like, he wouldn't talk to me then, then he felt oh, like God. I just said that for like, you. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm so stupid. We say they hear it. so much worse from us. I'm sorry. <laughs> they hear so much worse from us. Explain me. That's a thing. That's all for us. I was trying to explain what I'm doing for. I was trying to make an order. Last week, I did not mean to I was trying to make an order last week at a restaurant, and the waiter continued to say perf and totes. And I had to ask what he was saying. That's how behind I am. <laughs> Shaking my head. Yeah, I didn't know that. Like, I knew something. Like, that's not what else do I? I was just random. You guys, I didn't. I didn't know what OTP meant until last month. And that has been said to us for three years. OTP. I have to look up. <laughs> All the time. Oh, my friend will say something. I'll be like, what are you talking about? Mm. She'll tell me. I'll be like, dying. My mom's more oh. hip than me. Like, she can, like, <laughs> oh she'll say, like, 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 It'll come to you like next Tuesday. Yeah. it'll come to you like next Tuesday. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I'm saying this is not like a stage. Um, so sorry, y'all. I just started reading the messages. I know I had to turn the camera thing. Y'all know we're still new to Periscope. Don't judge me. I just faced it to who was talking. They were like, turn the camera around. I actually stuck it on me, and I was listening to you, so I wasn't even reading what they were saying. Um, so if you're just joining us, uh, oh, I'm your first lesbian crush. <laughs> That's so cute. Kate Winslet was mine. Um, so we're here. We're having this meetup. If you're just joining us, we are in my hometown of Clinton, Mississippi, and some of these young people are in high school. The high school I went to, and my high school is discriminating against them from having a GSA and from taking their girlfriend or boyfriend, same-sex partner, to uh, school dances. And when I decided I was going to have this meetup, I tagged this amazing organization, um, the Mississippi Safe Schools Coalition, who is fighting to make change in this state. And it's really amazing. And I had no idea what would happen if I tagged them. I thought maybe they would think it was really weird. Who knows? Turns out that Nat, in the purple shirt over there, is a fan, and so they're here tonight, and they are going to reach out to... <laughs> going to reach out to the ACLU of Mississippi and see about fighting this issue at my school, which is really incredible, and we're going to keep you posted on that. The goal, I was telling Bria, is to get these people here um, and the high school that I went to to be able to take their same-sex partner to prom Have you read by this, May. The cards they passed out the uh, bottom one. Prom, it says public schools cannot stop you from bringing the same-sex date to prom or other school dances. Federal law protects this as a freedom of expression and you cannot be barred from prom or other school dances because of your date's gender. Amazing. Wow. 
So they have this you have rights card that they've passed around, know your rights. And if you go to a public school, for those of you who are watching, you go to a public school, they're trying to prevent a GSA or trying to prevent you from going to dances with your same-sex partner. That is a federal crime. Federal freaking crime, that's incredible. Um, and it's a violation and you can contact your ACLU and they will jump on that because that's just a lawsuit waiting to happen. And those schools are behind the times and it's not okay. If they have a fellowship of Christian athletes, you have to be allowing a GSA. You can't honor somebody's uh, one minority and then not honor another. So don't be okay with that. Um, what, what else? Does anybody want to say anything? To yeah, your dad? So. Please. We have a, a law enforcement officer and awesome dad here. <laughs> Around the world, no matter what culture, creed, race, origin, anything, you have to teach hate. Love is natural. to all of these brave people who are willing to be themselves and to speak out, especially in such a closed-minded place as Mississippi. This is not the hometown that I grew up in. I knew one gay person and he was bullied relentlessly. And I'm just so amazed and proud by all of your courage to be living, whether you're out or not, to be even here today, because you had to get here somehow. So I think that's really amazing. Oh, yay. She invited my shoulder. Um, Nat, do you want to say anything about as far as public school or being discriminated against? Um, yeah, if, if what the rules are against that. Um, so all public schools are un under a federal. Um, um, I guess ruling or whatever, but it's called Title IX regulation. Yeah, federal regulation is called Title IX. And basically it states that if you receive funding from the government, if you're a public school, that you can't discriminate against students um, on basis of race, gender, sexual orientation, or expression, etc. Um, and because of that, that's what you were saying earlier. <laughs> and Kuda said also private institutions that are funded publicly, federally, um, so basically, like, like you were saying, if your school has any other club, um, whether that's like FCA, chess club, math leagues, or whatever, they have to let you have a GSA. Um, whether you want to take your same-sex partner to prom or not, they can't tell you like, that you can't do that. If you want to start a club, like a GSA or something like that, they can't let, make you have extra restrictions or extra requirements that they don't allow other clubs to have. So if they say that you have to have like signatures from your parents and they don't do that for any other clubs, then that's illegal. Um, but yeah, all those types of things. Like if you look up Title IX, it can tell you all of the restrictions that they had. All right. Wow. <laughs> Preach it. So look up your look up Title IX. This is really amazing. It was just a meetup, and now it's turned into a like, let's try to change this little gathering. Um, so yeah. So my high school is trying to make same-sex couples who want to go to the dance. You can't take a same-sex couple, another person who's the same gender as you, if they go to another school. But if they go to the same school, they make you fill out a form and get your parents to sign it saying that you're out and then get your partner that you want to take to sign it and get their parents to sign it. So they try to effectively humiliate you, like shame you from going to any of these organizations because they know how hard it is for kids to come out. So that's just completely illegal. and fabricated by the school uh, and know your rights because that is not okay and that is not going to be what's going on there in just a couple of months. They've got a rude awakening if they think that it is because the, the Mississippi advocates for LGBT rights and the Brissy Army is going to be going for them. Um, and what about you, Jamie, as far as like a law enforcement officer? No, people knowing their rights from law enforcement. What about people who face discrimination for their sexuality from law enforcement? Are there any 
so far to date, I haven't ran into that problem on the job, but I'm sure it's out there. It, it, it's everywhere. It's in the military. It, it's, regardless of how much acceptance the uh, government has towards any one in particular, depending upon you know their race or their sexual orientation or whatever, there's going to be discrimination because they're going to. It's not. It may not be blatant. It will be. It'll be low key, but it's still going to be there. What do you advise if, say, someone has experienced that or does experience that? Stand up. For what do they? But what do they it. say? What do they? What grounds do they have? Do they go to the police station, the higher ups? Like, what action can they take? Well, if they're going, if they're going to be, if they're being discriminated against by the, say, the local, uh, local government, you know, the city or whatever. Um, yeah, go to the police department. That's a violation of the Fourth Amendment. Fourth, you know, okay. by your amendment, by your rights that were given to you by the four founding fathers of this country. You know, it's, they didn't say in there, you know, you have the right to pursue happiness as long as you're straight. No. They said you have the right to pursue happiness. What if it's systemic, though? What if the chief is involved? Yeah, that's what, what I'm it's... saying. Take it up. Take it don't, up to Take where? it to your congressman. Take it to your okay. senator. Take it to your representative. If that don't work, take it to the freaking Supreme Court. ACLU? Okay. It works. ACLU. Okay. Complain. Squeaky wheel gets the oil. Now, how can you go over the principle if, like, this card says if you're experiencing harassment, you address your principal? Yeah, what if, if the principal doesn't do yeah. anything? Who's Superintendent? next? Superintendent. Yeah, but a lot of times. Probably the ACLU because um, it's. Yeah. yeah, yeah, a lot of times, like, reach out to the ACLU. Um, and it, it, I mean, it, it's, a, it's, it's complicated, especially in Mississippi. Like, if you read, like, the paper that I gave them about starting GSAs, it talks about, like, how tricky it can be to start GSA in Mississippi. Cause Could I have one of those before? Yeah, yeah, definitely. It is a, like, an old boys club. Yeah. So, I mean, the superintendent is probably friends with the principal and probably has already called them. I mean, like, the thing that happened in Brandon High School, the students didn't go to the superintendent. They went to their principal and their, um, their teachers and asked, can we start a GSA? And all of a sudden, next thing they know, it's at the next um, school school board meeting. How did that happen? Obviously, a teacher or the principal themselves went to the superintendent and told them what the students were planning to do. Um, I remember that protest. Too. Yeah. So I mean, a lot of times, like if it's if it is your principal, you do have to like go to the ACLU and let let him know or let her know that you're. I know you're trying to stop me from doing this for whatever your personal beliefs are, but legally you can't do that. Mm -hmm. And I mean, this is America. Money talks and lawsuits change people, oh, change yeah. people's minds a lot of times. So. Yeah. I mean, it's similar to the thing that's going on with Davis. I mean, it's a, it's, a, it's a government, it's a public government thing, and they can't, they can't discriminate against who you are and what you're doing. I mean, she's an, an appointed official, and she's not doing her job. And if you're a principal and you're not doing your job, or if you're a superintendent, which I believe is also an appointed position, and you're not doing your job, then you're discriminating against these people. You have to do your job. It is illegal to keep these people from having the organization, just like it's illegal for her to keep these people from getting married. Mm -hmm. So for those of you just joining us, we're having a meetup while I'm home. And um, we're trying to figure out, you know, what rights you have if you're being discriminated against for being LGBT at your school, or, you know, if you're discriminated against by law enforcement, but especially if you're in school, and uh, what to do if you try to go to the principal and you're being discriminated against there. Contact the ACLU. Um, well, this is really amazing, y'all. I don't. Oh, I don't know. Um, <laughs> I see. I see what you're saying about sex ed. Yeah, you're saying we need um, gay sex education. We yes. Don't we just need. We don't have any sex education. Yeah. There is no. We know that it's Yeah. Um. The ACLU is the American Civil Liberties Union, and they fight for our rights. Uh, they fought for gay marriage rights. And um, they they fight they, they defend the Constitution, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Huh. Many different ways. All right, y'all. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this. I think hopefully, Bria, baby girl, if you're watching, 
We love you. We miss you. We also hated Maria. We love you all, and I'm going to close this out so I can enjoy the rest of this. Um, it's been amazing. Wow, so this is going to be one of my favorite trips home to Mississippi. I'm so glad this has happened, and y'all are all wonderful. I even had a high school teacher come, and she's a fan, which is so cool. But um, y'all watch this back if you missed anything, and know your rights if you're in school, and we will see you sometime soon. So, um, oh, we all say, we all do the, the outro, the big kiss, big hug, big love. So let's do it. One, two, three. Big kiss, big hug, big love. Mwah! Aw, okay, bye, y'all. See you. <laughs> Oh, I never know how to turn it off. <laughs> yes. Hi, Bria. Okay. Shoot, this happens to us every single time.